This is a really important vet appointment for Pumpkin today. She is going to have braces molded. Because of the way Pumpkin was bred, she ended up being a dwarf pony. These can have issues. The family didn't have the resources to fix her leg. So they surrendered Pumpkin and her mother to us. Hi. Oh, you know, it's scary. Come on, little girl. When I saw her and realized that it was all four legs that were affected, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to help her. She was so young. That motherly instinct in me just wants to take care of her. We always give them that fighting chance. No matter how many people tell us you can't fix that, we always try. I'm the founder of Twist of Fate Farm and Sanctuary. We help the animals that nobody else wants and show them love, give them a place to live out the rest of their lives. When Pumpkin first arrived here, I was nervous. She just seemed so fragile. Welcome home. But after a day or two, I, I came to realize that in Pumpkin's mind, she's no different than any other baby. So good. Hey, little Pumpkin. Ooh. She's just like this giant ball of fire in this tiny little body. It didn't take long for Deacon and I to fall in love with her. Deacon is my three-year-old son. He and Pumpkin have become really good friends. Deacon loves to brush Pumpkin. He likes to sit with her. They just kind of hang out. Baby Pumpkin, it is in my boot. It's kissing me. They're both so sweet and innocent, and I think they just kind of get each other. And Thea, at first she was like, what is this little human doing to my baby? As a mother, I get it, but now she just kind of watches them. Deacon wants Pumpkin to go outside and run with him. Pumpkin, go outside, please. To him, there's nothing wrong with Pumpkin. Deacon believes that she's like a magical little unicorn. A big unicorn. We keep Pumpkin and her mom in a stall. Our vets thought it would be the safest thing for her. I feel like the bad, like the mean mom, and I'm like, no, you have to stay inside. She doesn't get to explore. She doesn't get to graze. It definitely hurts my heart a little. Little bit. My hope is that these braces will help strengthen her legs to where she can spend more time outside and enjoy life and her and Deacon can actually run around together. As long as I see Pumpkin having that will to live, I want to keep fighting for her. We're here, Pumpkin. There we go. Okay. Okay. How are we doing? Hey, guys. Hi. How's it going? I'm Derek. You must be Ashley. Hi, Derek. Nice hey, to meet you. Hey, this is the famous pumpkin. So right off the bat, she's going to stabilize all the joints that need it. So she may need spins on all four. Do you think that the braces are going to help pumpkin to become more mobile? All four legs on any animal is very tough. It's going to be really about her and her spirit and her will uh, to want to move. A lot of this is unknown. so. Take it one day at a time, one step at a time. If we can get the right stabilizer, hopefully Pumpkin will do well. Let's start casting, buddy. Our biggest concern is Pumpkin getting too big before we can help her. We want Pumpkin to have a good life. You know, sometimes that's not possible. I was nervous that someone might say, you know what, this isn't going to work for her. And that, that, that didn't happen. If we can help Pumpkin be comfortable to where she can live a long, happy life, that's huge. Thea is going to be so excited to see her again. This is the first time they've ever been apart. Hi, is your mommy? Thea is very, very protective of Pumpkin. She doesn't ever let her out of her sight. She is a great mom. I told you she'd be back. We have another miniature pony, Lucy, rescued from a neglect case. So our hope is that once Pumpkin is better, we can introduce the three of them and they can be this little family. I hope that these braces work to the point where Pumpkin can live a somewhat normal life. I'm hand sculpting one of Pumpkin's legs. I can make things that fit really well, but I can't guarantee that I'll accept them. Pumpkin seems determined to walk. Actually, she wants to gallop, so we want to get her to that point. Derek is coming to put Pumpkin's braces on for the first time. Hi, Derek. I got all the legs here. Wow. And hopefully Pumpkin takes to them. I will go get her then. She'll be right back. Might be the last time I have to carry you. I'm a little bit nervous. If these braces don't work, then we have to make another decision. Here we go. Good. That would be Pumpkin's mom wondering where Pumpkin is. I do think Pumpkin realizes that we're trying to help her. Since day one, we've been working with her legs. 
I never know what they're gonna do. And this is the first time fitting a dwarf pony with four leg braces, so no one knows what's gonna happen. Moment of truth. Let's get you up. You do a little bit better on the front ones than the rear ones. It's okay. Come on. Come on. She's close. There are things that I really have to do back at the shop. I wish that wasn't the case. Don't get discouraged. She seems determined. She seems like she wants to walk. So it's on me now to just kind of re design these. I'm hopeful that Derek can adjust the braces to make them work better for Pumpkin. We're gonna refit Pumpkin today. Here he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> These are Pumpkin's legs. Oh. You ready to give this another try? But there's some differences. So. It's almost impossible to clash with them now. Okay, they're gonna help her walk. I'm blind. Let's hope. You never know if they're gonna accept them or not, so uh, it's always that unknown feeling of anxiety that I get. She'll miss her, but it's just for a few minutes. Come here. Thanks, buddy. This is great. I made him pumpkin color. Truth, pumpkin. Yes. There you go. You ready? Okay, here we go. I know. There you go. Let's see if you're up enough on those backs. Yes. That's a lot better. All right, buddy. Come on, pumpkin. Did she chase you? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's good. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Not easy. I don't think she's ever moved that fast. Oh, yeah? Okay, good. That's so great. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> she looks happy though. <laughs> Whoa. So these are the moments I kind of live for. Come on, pumpkin. Not bad, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> wow. It's like the other animals know. Everybody's excited today. You can see when animals have that will to want to live and move, and she had that, and uh, that can make all the difference. Okay. They're better? Wow. You can just see how happy she is. It was like she knew her legs just felt better. This was exactly what we hoped for. I think she kind of feels free and uh, able to be herself and walk without pain. I'm just so happy. Yes, he wants you to make him shoes. You want me to make, <laughs> I can make you shoes. Pumpkin's doing really well with braces and Pumpkin, she knows once the braces go on, she's going outside, she's gonna have a good time. Today, we're going to introduce Lucy to Thea and Pumpkin to see if they can get along. Come meet Lucy. is very curious. The introduction actually went really well. If it continues to go well, they'll move in together permanently and they can become their own little herd. Day one, Deacon wants Pumpkin to run with him so badly, and now she actually can. She's a lot faster, and she explores more. She's still the same Pumpkin, but she's happier, you can tell. 
This journey has been a very long one, but to know that we have made a difference for her, it's 100% worth it. It's literally why we do what we do. Take these animals that nobody really feels have a chance and give them that chance at a good life.